Today I'm going to show you a tool I use for animation called a pose library. A pose library is kind of like pre-saved poses, uh, animations or poses that you can just kind of uh, keyframe automatically into your animation and it, it saves a lot of time without having to pose every little controller um, in the position you want. You probably make the same faces often or do the same poses often or animations and you want to just insert them in. This is a great way to do that fast. So there's um, this great plugin called Studio Library. It's free. Um, I just pulled it up on Google here. Uh, you can go to studiolibrary.com, download, and uh, you've got all your instructions on how to use it here and how to install it. And then once you have that, you just make sure you link it up correctly, uh, follow the instructions on the website, and you will be able to get started. I have my own character here. Um, I actually learned about this through Animation Mentor, so I have a bunch of their characters. But... Um, I'm working on giving my own character the phenomes, uh, which are like mouth shapes for, um, for doing voiceover. So I have some, I've done a bunch as you can see, but I need uh, some more. So I have this image here that I've kind of been using as a cheat sheet, which is just uh, phenomes that Animation Mentor did on one of their characters. And I've been kind of imitating them to some degree so that I have a similar selection set. Um, let's see what I need still, and I'll do an example. So I did a bunch of E's. I did some, eh, some, it looks like I kind of stopped at MBP and I need some more options there. So let's see, MBP. There's, uh, one, two. So MBP is kind of a closed mouth shape. Um, and they've just got different, like, like tighter closed mouth here, like smaller mouth, uh, wide mouth here. And I think I just did the first one. So I'm going to try to do an MBP too. And I'll give her that style of a closed mouth. And I'll start by just kind of selecting her mouth controllers. I created a shortcut for that um, here. I think I did mouth. Ah, okay, this is old and it's not connecting, which is good because I can show you how to create a selection set. Um, so if you want to do a quick selection set, it'll help you along the way a lot with animation and with creating um, different poses. You need to select the controllers that are all applicable to the shape that you're about to make. So I need her mouth. I just selected everything in the mouth area. And then I'm going to go to create, uh, set, quick selection set. And now this is important. I'm just gonna call it mouth, um, then her name because I want it to be a little different. And then you wanna add it to your shelf if you want easy access. I always do that. I'm probably gonna have to take some of these old ones off, but that's okay. Add to shelf. And then when I deselect, I don't have any controller selected, then reselect, I automatically have all of them selected. So that's really great when I need quick uh, keys and, um, to make different mouth shapes or eye shapes or body poses. You can do the same thing with any parts of the body. So um, let's see, we're gonna go to the first MBP that I tried to make here and apply. And you can see if I push apply after it's selected, it'll give us that mouth shape that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna edit this a bit to be different so that it's just a different MBP altogether. So I've got the mouth camera here to give me a better view on what the mouth looks like. And then I also always want a perspective because it can look good in one camera and then terrible in another and you don't want that. So um, I keep it uneven a bit like in terms of these aren't exactly in the same spot. And I kind of like it that way for expressions and mouth shapes and stuff because we're all like not symmetrical and I don't mind a little dissymmetry if that's a word. <laughs> Um, I guess I like a type, mm, I'm like doing the sound to feel what it, what it should be like. Mm, p, p, okay. You can also look in the mirror as you do this and make the sounds of the, um, M or B or P and kind of see what your own mouth looks like. I'm widening this one. So now I'm thinking, no, I want it to be tighter actually, because 
My other one is about medium and I'm going to do the second one tighter. So I changed my mind about widening it and I'm just closing the mouth tighter a little bit. MBP. Mm -hmm. What is this controller? Oh, it's a tooth. Don't want that. Um, and you know, for example purposes, I don't have to get this perfect. Um, just something. So this should be good. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my quick selection set at the top, click it, and I'm going back into pulling over my, my um, pose library. Actually, let me take a photo for a silly me. Uh, we need a photo, so we have a reference. And that's the little um, MBP shape. Oh, why did I do that? Nobody knows. Meant to save. File, save image. Poses into, uh, I keep the images together. Mouth, phenomes, MBP2, I'm gonna call it. And save. Now that I have that, I can go back to my quick selection set, have everything selected, pull up my studio library, and then we're gonna right click in the blank space and then create new pose. I'm not gonna take a picture. You can, however, take a picture if you wanna really do it really quickly, but I just like the visuals of having a rendered out image. So that's why I did that. Open, gotta name it. And then save. And there it is in the shapes. So now if I, if you look right here and watch her mouth change, I can go to the eh sound Select that, mouth changes to that, back to our one that we just made, and it closes, and it's a little bit different. Ooh, her jaw actually shifts here, that's interesting, um, from the MBP one. So that might just be a perspective thing too, though. No, something's up with that. And you can always edit them after the fact. So if I'm like, why is her jaw shifting? I don't know about that. Let's see if it's the jaw itself. You can apply the, um, you can apply a pose to just one controller. So if I have one selected and I want to see the difference, this one doesn't move at all. So it's more of a this controller, I think. That's changing that shape, but I, I can adjust things as I go. But like I said, you, if you want to uh, edit, you can but anyway, um, that's basically how you create a pose for the pose library. Um, it's really awesome and you can also do animations. So that's something else to look into. If you go up here, you can go to animation and do like a little, a little movement here and there and, and add that in and that'll be something that's such a time saver. Um, people tend to pose out different expressions, phenomes like I just did. Uh, blinking and also hand shapes are super important um, to pose out because hands can be a pain in the butt because there are so many parts to them. So you really like save a lot of time if you uh, create different hand shapes like this, um, like they did here. Uh, so you'd end up with a bunch of different different options. So that's basically it. I hope you guys try this out and bring it into your workflow. I highly recommend it. And I really thank you guys for joining me. And I hope you watch my next vid. Bye.